It was a cold and snowy Green Bay night. No, it, it's actually like 10 o'clock. That's why it's so dark. I took most of the day off. Isn't this creepy? It reminds me of those those horror stories you do when you're a kid and you have your, your flashlight up. So I'm going to the warehouse. So what's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. That, that, that actually kind of looks cool, but uh, I'm gonna shut this off. Resale Rabbit here, and we are going to the warehouse at 10 p.m. Why? Because I have eBay orders to ship, and I took the day off. So I'm just going over there to do that and check on the progress of what you know they've been doing there, and then we're, I'm gonna go home. Another fun thing, aren't these dark videos just so engaging? So much fun to watch. Uh, another fun thing, I got a video sponsor. I'm officially a real YouTuber. Uh, but don't worry, I'm not gonna turn on one of those, uh, those videos that has a sponsor every single day. Those are annoying. And it's not the same sponsor you see every, it's not Squarespace or Brilliant or what are the other ones that everybody gets sponsored by? Dashlane, is that a thing? I don't know, usually when they do the video sponsor at the end of the video, that's when I skip to the next video anyways. This is actually a company that I've been working with for like four years? Yeah, I'd say about four years I've been working with them. A um, company that I really like, and I think you guys are going to like it too. And the funny part is I've mentioned them many, many, many times on video for free. So this time they paid me for it. So we, we will address that once we get to the sponsored video. It's gonna be a, a good video. So, so there's that. All right, let's get to the warehouse. You know, it's kind of fun doing this in the dark. I could be making funny faces at you and you would have no idea, no clue. Oh, oh, we're back, we're back in the daylight, okay. It's a little creepy in here at night. There we go. Well, it looks like they got rid of some stuff. Cleared off that pallet, stacked these up. Uh, looks like they got rid of some over there, some pallets over here. They're doing a good job getting rid of all this crap. All this crap from Lowe's. Got rid of a couple that were over here. So on eBay, we've got 15 orders for exactly 281. First sale, it's another one of these Back to the Future newspapers. They're pretty cool if you want to see exactly the stuff that's in it. I showed a few clips of the inside in yesterday's video. This was purchased by a viewer uh, named Brittany. Left a note saying, thanks, Rabbit Brittany. I certainly appreciate the purchase. And uh, we'll get this shipped out. I hope you enjoy it. Next, we've got one of these. Sold for $7, and I paid $0.40 cents when ShopCo closed. You know, I just had a thought. I usually, uh, when, when, a, when a viewer orders something, I'd say, you know, who they are and thank them, like Brittany with the newspaper. Um, yesterday, I sold a, I'm trying to think of a child-friendly way to put this, a, a feminine odor thing um, for preventing it, I guess. I should really make sure I pay attention to what the viewers are buying because if a viewer bought that, I don't think they'd want their name, you know. Jessica bought this feminine stank stuff. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to be more careful about that. Thankfully, it wasn't a viewer who bought that one. At least they didn't let me know. All right, next sale, we've got a Dell charger. Sold for $9.99. That's probably going to be this one. Believe it or not, this was a gift. They uh, don't want me to put a pack and slip in with pricing data. Weird gift to give somebody. Seriously, why can't the drop shippers just say, this is a drop ship order, you know, blind ship it. Why do they need to pretend it's a gift? Do they think we're dumb? All right, next we got a docking cradle. Right here for a Motorola barcode scanner. I uh, got 20 bucks for it and I probably got it for nothing in just a random box of electronics. We've got another viewer order, Kevin. Let's see, where's the lady odor treatment? No, I'm kidding, Kevin. Kevin also bought one of the newspapers. So, I don't know if I mentioned this in yesterday's video, 
but yesterday's video, as of this time when I'm filming, is the last one to edit. I know that's confusing. What I'm trying to say is I sat down and spent like 12 hours editing videos. I edited a ton of videos, including both of the Lowe's videos. It was more than 12 hours. It was literally from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to bed. I was sitting on the couch that entire time with the exception of bathroom breaks and food breaks, my two favorite types of breaks. And so I have no idea what videos are going live which day. I have them all uploaded on YouTube and they're just private so no one can see them. And I make one of them public or live so you guys can see it every single day. And I'm doing it in chronological order. So I'm guessing by the fact that two of these sold today that uh, I must have shown it on a video. These are the second and third ones that I've sold. I sold one yesterday, but that video isn't online yet. It's still on my phone. Uh, so I'm guessing maybe, you know what? I listed those when I did the 129 something orders and filled this shelf up, which is by the way, starting to empty out. Um, so yeah, I guess people must have seen them, thought they were cool. So anyways, Kevin, Brittany, I appreciate you guys ordering. I hope you enjoy them. These things are really neat. I did keep one for myself. I, I'm not even going to say you guys should, you know, go into my eBay store and buy it because honestly, by the time this video is online, they're probably going to be sold out anyways. What do I have? One, two, three. I've got four left. I sold three in the past 48 hours. They're going to be sold out, but here's what I have to say. Go, go to my YouTube or my eBay page store. Link is in the description of all of my videos and see if I have them available. If I do buy it, if not, then search for it from another seller because they're really cool. You, you should buy one. Anyways, let's see what the next order is. Also, remember I had over 700 listings for the first time? I'm in the 500s now. I really kind of fell behind on listing again. We've got gold bills. We've got this, that's all hundreds. No, that's gonna be this one. A series of seven gold plated bills. And it's got the whole thing, 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100. And they sold for 10 bucks. <sighs> I'm going to have to get another one of these things. What do you guys think of my lamps? Found them in a storage unit a while ago. They've been sitting here forever. I haven't had a chance to bring them home. So, now I really need to keep this in the eBay area. But, since I'm carrying the step stool, you probably have a good idea of what this sale is going to be. One of my favorite things to sell lately, because they sell so quick, and it's like one listing. This is a really cheap step stool. All right. We're looking for a size eight. Uh, is this an eight? This is an eight and a half. Screw you, eight and a half. Uh, this is such a far reach for me. Is this an eight? This is an eight. So you know the drill on these, paid 50 cents. Target, overstock, sold them for, hold on. I say hold on a lot in the videos. Full price, $14.99. Sold the last of these, at least the last that I know of. Uh, make sure it's the last one. Yeah, I, they're actually gonna be pleasantly surprised. Look at that expiration date, 10.31 of 22. I said 9.30 of 22, so my guess is I had them with multiple dates. Um, Paid 42 cents for this one, Target closed. Sold it for $12.99. Sold another one of these. Look how cleared out this Shopco stuff is getting. It is moving fast. So many people in the Shopco video said, oh, that's all garbage. You're not going to make any money. Why would you think you're going to make any money if they couldn't sell it? Well, I just sold it eight bucks. Uh, they wanted $19.99. I paid 40 cents. Meaning on the last day, this was two bucks. They couldn't sell for two, I sold it for eight. I don't think that one is it. Uh, let's check the next bag. We're looking for SPS 09120. That's not it, let's look in the bag. Uh, let's see, that's not it either. What the heck? There should be only like three of them here. Maybe I'm remembering the number wrong. Or maybe there's a second number on it. Here it is, a cord for a Polycom phone sold for $9.99. Let me show you one of the biggest issues with my terrible inventory management system. So this bin is AC adapters. 
I don't sell these often because I don't go out and buy them. They usually sell for like 10 bucks. Usually, the only time I'm selling these is if I get them for, you know, they get thrown into a lot that I'm buying. Well, I got a ton of Polycom adapters because I bought a ton of Polycom phones and these were the extra AC adapters. So I listed those, put them in this bin. Couldn't find the one I was looking for in here. That's because it was listed and put in here long before these existed. <sighs> Next, we're looking for a wallflower pair of jeans, size 18. There we go, that's size one. That's Gloria Vanderbilt. All these other ones are Gloria Vanderbilt. Is it size 18 or did I read it wrong? Hold on, let's take a look. Uh, let's see, no, it says size 18. I hope I didn't make a mistake when I listed it. You're looking at the face of a defeated man. It is very rare when I can't find an order. This is two orders in, not only two orders in a shipment, not only two orders in a week, not only two orders in a month, but two orders in a row. Now these, I thought were my mistake. This is a size one wallflower jeans. There's the size 18 that was purchased. Very similar, when I was looking at the thumbnail, I thought it might've been the same ones. However, I looked up on eBay here in my own app, this is the size one. So there's a separate listing for that. And there's another pair of wallflower jeans. So I must have them somewhere else. So let's take a walk back over here. Usually I keep all of the clothing right here. Unless they're hanging. But I don't think I have any hanging pants in here. No. So where are the jeans? Well, maybe put them somewhere else? Because they should be in this area here. You guys see them? Let me know if you see them. They should all be stacked up right there. But these are all a different brand. Oh, I'm so confused. Why does this exist? Why is this? Oh, 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 found them right here. Now I remember. So before I put this shelf in, that box was sitting on the floor here and had pants in it. There's the missing pair, and here is another pair. That didn't stay sealed very well. So, this pair here, I sold for 18 bucks. Right, size 18, yes, 18 bucks. I paid, oh man, a dollar and 32 cents, I think, for them. 2% of that when they closed. It's a shame these weren't good on Amazon. I shipped probably a thousand pairs of wallflower jeans to Amazon. Correction, I sold them for $18.99 and they were sold to a viewer named Ashley. Uh, she left a, a note when she submitted an offer. Uh, she said shipping would be cheap. I live in, I'm not going to say where she lives, but it, it's not far. Uh, or I can drive to pick them up. It, it's a little far for a drive. It, it's, it's more than a day trip. Uh, but eh, you never know, maybe she has family here in the area or something. Uh, she says, long time fan, would love a chance to own something of yours. Well, Ashley, um, you now own my lady's wallflower pants. Anyways, I appreciate the purchase. I certainly do. I hope they fit well. I hope you enjoy them. $18.99 is a pretty good deal. They're, I've been selling them on Amazon, similar ones for like... 40 to 50 so well 35 to 50 so i appreciate the purchase now let's go to the next order i got a lot of orders today this may be the last one yep the very last oh that's not broken is it no i just buckle in the very last pair of these shoes i sold for oh i don't remember i should really take a look when i look at what sold 14.99 and i paid 50 cents Next sale is, whoa, came right off the rack. This Pittsburgh Steelers jacket. Someone will be breaking wind with their new windbreaker. And I just dropped it on the floor. Tonight is not my night. This is why I don't do this at 10 p.m. So anyways, sold for 20, 20 bucks? Hold on. I really need to pay attention. $19.99. Sold for $19.99. I found this in a storage unit. It's in actually pretty nice shape. 
I uh, would have considered keeping it if it were my size, but it's too big for me. Now, I know I'm wearing a Packers shirt, and you've seen me talk about the Panthers in a lot of videos. I have three teams. Uh, the Packers, because I you know, live in Green Bay. The Panthers, really became a fan when I lived in Charlotte. And the Steelers, it's my three team, number three. Uh, my father's side of the family is all from Pittsburgh, so I grew up in a Steelers house. All right, next, we've got a $40 sale plus shipping, $54.95. For this, no, not this. This Welsh Allen thermometer, a thermometer. The label is kind of coming off a little bit. It is battery powered. Let's see if it still has a charge. Yes, it does. This has been sitting for months and it still has a charge, but there is nothing to plug it in. Also, I had to cut off the name of the hospital this came from because we're supposed to debrand it when it comes out of the hospital. But I did want to show that this was, you know, that it, that it passed a safety inspection around that time. Just to, let me shut this off, it so says battery. Just so the buyer, obviously the buyer's gonna need to get their own inspection if they're a medical facility, but they can at least see that it recently passed. Uh, blue, that means oral, so it's not gross. Or maybe it's just the handle that's blue, I don't know. Anyways, sold this for 40 bucks plus shipping, so 54.95 total. And I don't think I paid more than a couple bucks for it. And lastly, I sold a pair of shoes for 40 bucks. A pair of a a a hun a new a, a hun hold on. A I, I don't know how to pronounce that. There's not enough there's not enough vowels in there. Yeah, let's just switch those around. It's Hanu. Alright. I got 40 bucks for them. They, these came from the viewer in Milwaukee. He sold me all those shoes. You see all the Nike boxes over there, 10 bucks each. So 40 bucks isn't bad for these. They're actually pretty nice hiking shoes. I uh, wanted to keep these too, but they're too big for me, or too small for me. They are a size seven. I'm honestly not sure if they're men's or women's shoes, but they look pretty, pretty unisex. So anyways, that is today's sales. As I looked in the orders here, I actually didn't even need to come in because none of them are due today. So I'm gonna actually ship them tomorrow, but at least you can see what we got. Let's see if we had any more sales while I did this. Nope, I did decline an offer on a pair of pants, but no sales. This is a weird... All right, so that's it. Uh, this is probably a long video just in these sales alone, so I'm going to cut it here. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.